Kia ora. Talofa. Welcome. The Panmure Bridge has been an important part of Auckland's history since 1865. In 2009, Marty, Shafiq, De Niro and Georgia helped Mr Johnson to create a movie that told the story of the Panmure Bridge. This is our homage to their video. Not many people know that before 1865, the only way to cross the Tamaki River was by using the government-funded punt, a small floating platform that leaked constantly and needed a lot of repairs. Construction of the first Panmure Bridge began in 1864. Kauri and Totara wood was used for the piles and girders to give the bridge its strength. The bridge also had a clever design. It was able to swing open whenever boats passed by because of a large iron cog that, when turned, opened the iron swing portion. Not only did it allow people to cross over from Pakaranga to Panmio, but also allowed farmers to continue to sell their produce in town. It was the holdups caused by a growing population and these ongoing disruptions to the transport system across one of New Zealand's busiest waterways that inspired a group of local residents to write a petition in 1857 asking for a bridge to be built over the Tamaki River. William Rickford Collett was given the job of designing the very first bridge. Boats wanting to pass through would pay the keeper a toll and he would, in turn, open the swing bridge. Let's have a closer look at this large cog. It's hard to believe that this is over 100 years old. Can you believe that even back in the 1800s, they were still able to come up with something this was complex? The second Pamir Bridge shown in the image behind me was opened to the public in 1960. William Macy, the Prime Minister of the time, celebrated the opening by driving a heavy tractor engine over it to show how strong it was. Fortunately, 24 years after this bridge opened, large cracks were found in the structure showing that the materials used were not as strong as the designers had thought. To keep the bridge users safe, a speed and load limit was put in place. In 1959, the third Pamir Bridge, the one we use today, opened. However, the bridge won't look like this for much longer as construction workers started on a new bridge. The new bridge will allow buses, pedestrians and cyclists to avoid the traffic congestion and make moving between Pakarang and Pamir much easier. Thank you.